you should have um, on your last video a y intercept of zero and then an x value of zero just because it's the y intercept. Now we're going to put zero zero on the table and then see that the table is growing. So if the table is growing, what does that mean? That it is not going to come back down. So it's already crossed the x-axis. That means the x-intercept is zero as well. Um, number seven, I noticed that B is six and M is 1.25. And so the slope is the rate at which we are going to purchase or the price, let's say it that way, because I know when I use rate, it's a little confusing to those that don't use that word a lot. The cost, the price, what I'm going to pay for, what am I paying for? Songs, how do I know that? It says X songs. What do I see here? X. Oh, so I'm going to pay a dollar and 25 cents for every song. The cost per song is M. So, oh look, cost each song, cost per song is M, slope. Oh, not the line, is it? The slope of the graph represents the number of songs. Oh, no, the slope represents the cost. So, yeah. Uh, the slope represents the total number. No, it's the cost per song. Come on now. So that means the Y intercept is what? The cost of joining the music club. And how do we know that? It says right here, cost of what? Joining the music club. Plus the songs represents this function. So this is the initial cost. Oh, this is the total cost. Oh, it's kind of weird. I hate the way that's worded, but um, we got that from the test, um, the start test, which means they want us to be careful about um, understanding the y-intercept. So this is the initial fee. The slope is m. The y-intercept is b. Zero is the x-intercept. Well, it crosses. Look at that right there at one. So zero is the x-intercept, one, zero. What is B? Zero, five. And the slope, well, go down, one, two, three, four, five, to the right, one. Go down, one, two, three, four, five, to the right, one. So M is negative five. Now, I see that I need to find the slope. Well, here is the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So up two to the right, three, and that's four. I could try that again and make sure I get two over three. I'm gonna choose that point. I know it's right if I get two over three. Yay! Okay, well, one says no. I can't be the answer because my slope is negative. I need a positive slope. So I know four definitely is an answer. It definitely is an answer, which means B and C are out of there. And I've already eliminated one, so the answer has to be two and four, but why? Let's solve for Y. That negative, somebody said belong there, was, that's wrong. Subtract 2x, negative 2x plus 6, divide by a negative, and there, look, negative divided by negative is a positive, minus 2, y-intercept, negative 2, y-intercept, negative 2, positive 2 over 3, so correct. All right, so I will start with question number 10 of the next video.
it is about 5.51 and I have to go get my kids by 6 and they are right across the uh, way. So I have uh, nine minutes to get my things, get in the car and get over there safely. I will see you on the next video. Bye.